So um, I'm going to be posting a video on Tabata. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a way of doing some interval style exercise. Um, and I'm also going to talk a little bit about the benefits of it. So the workout for those of you that would want to like participate with me in it is um, air squats, push-ups, and sit-ups, or you can um, you can do some modifications that I'll show later. So first, the benefits of doing Tabata. Obviously, for a time like this, it's kind of hard to, um, at least in in uh, in northwestern PA, it's kind of difficult to always say, oh, I can just go outside and walk, or oh, I can just go outside and run, because the weather's been just like crazy. So you can't always do that. Um, to do a workout and get your heart rate up, uh, which is something that is very, very beneficial for us, which is from aerobic exercise. So what you can do instead is some interval training inside your house. And that's basically what this is going to be. So how Tabata works is it's usually done in four minute um, chunks. And within the four minutes, you'll do 20 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of exercise, 10 seconds of rest, and so forth. And it's meant that for the time you're exercising, you're pushing as hard as you possibly can go. So whatever exercise you do, you're pushing it as hard as you can go in those 20 seconds. And then you're taking whatever style of rest that you need uh, for the 10 second breaks. Now, when, when I do Tabata, I don't really like to do the same thing. So classically, they're done with like one exercise being the focus of it. But for me, I like to make sure that I'm getting a total body workout when I do something like that. So I, I, I think I can get just as good of a workout in if I do three movements um, instead of one. So it'll be 20 seconds push-ups. 20 seconds air squats, 20 seconds sit-ups. And that will that cycle will repeat for the whole time. So some, some main benefits of it is you get your heart rate up pretty darn high if you do it right. Um, if you kind of slack off, you might you might still get like some of that cardiovascular benefit, but the real benefit's gonna be from getting your heart rate up really high and sustaining that for the whole four minutes. Um, unless you go longer. I'm only going to post four minutes of the video, um, but I'm actually going to do three four-minute bouts. So I'm actually going to be um, in, in an exercising state for about 12 minutes, give or take. Um, so you get cardiovascular benefit from it, and you can also, like I said, get a total body exercise from it. Um, and that's pretty important because right now it's very easy to sit around and do nothing and getting a total body exercise in there is a great way to feel productive um, to do yourself some good and release some stress get some pent-up frustration in your head out um, but it's also a way to have a well-balanced uh, exercise program for yourself so doing something that involves your legs, your core, and your upper extremity in some facet is a general rule of thumb that you could follow for getting a total body exercise routine in, which I'll do in here. So some other just, um, just like general benefits of doing Tabata, you can do it anywhere. You don't need much equipment at all to do it. You can do it with body weight. You can modify it however you need to. And it's, it's not something that you necessarily like. It, it's, it's not something that is going to tank you for the rest of the day, but it's also not something that's going to be so easy that you're not, you're going to feel like you didn't do anything because it's only four minutes, but it's going to be a very difficult four minutes. And so um, I, I find that, like doing those four minute bouts for me and um, for some people who I'm, I'm helping out right now. Um, I find that doing those four minute bouts is a good duration of time so that you're not 
like exercising for hours and then what do you do with the rest of the day because you feel like trash but you're also getting enough time exercising so that you can elicit a good response so um, depending what your circumstances are it can be really beneficial for you and it's basically just a style of interval training and um, it's pretty fun but it's also pretty hard if you do it right which is what it's intended for so all that being said, let's get started. Now it's important to do a warm up before you exercise, of course. Um, I learned that the hard way a little bit ago. Tweaked my knee a little bit, but that was weeks ago and I'll be fine. I'm just wearing a knee sleeve to, to um, make sure my knee stays warm and stable and stuff. Um, generally a good warm up would be going outside walking for five minutes. Maybe doing some upper body stretches like like the Michael Phelps hugs, doing some shoulder circles, and doing different leg exercises while you're walking, stretching out, stretching out, and doing high knees, butt kicks, things like that, um, to get warmed up, to get uh, to get a little bit of a sweat going, maybe depending on your fitness level, and mainly getting your joints and muscles primed for exercise. I already did that and I'm feeling good, so we're going to go ahead and start. And like I said, I'm only going to film the first four minutes of this, um, uh, and I'm probably going to do another, another like, two goes of that, um, and that's just, like, based on my fitness level and stuff like that. Um, and I don't have anything else to do other than do a workout right now. <laughs> finish the day's to-do list. Um, and like I said, some modifications. You can, by all means, for the air squats, you can, by all means, um, bring in a stool to, to various height and use that. Um, and so instead of maybe going down in a squat to where you're unsupported, you can squat down to a stool and then stand up from the stool, and that's a bit easier. Or you can simply position yourself so that when you go to squat, your backside will hit the wall, and um, I'll, I'll show that on my fridge. So your backside would hit the fridge, and that would limit the depth that you can go. Um, and that'd be kind of in between a chair squat and the and the air squat. Um, for push-ups, you could do it if you have some type of ledge like this, where you lean onto the ledge and do your push-up there. Um, or you could do a simple kneeling push-up where you're on your knees but still in that push-up position and doing them. If you want to make it harder even, you could put your feet up on a couch or on a chair and that elevation of your body weight will put more weight onto your arms and that'll make it a bit harder there. Um, for me, I'm probably going to modify the sit-ups to, um, to something that I'm not sure what the name of it is, but Basically, I'll be in the sit-up position, and I'll go side to side, keeping my trunk flexed up off the ground, and just going side to side. I guess I'll call them like foot slaps or something. So I'm probably going to do that for me, just because I don't really care about sit-ups, and I, I'm kind of bored of them, but I still got to get a good core workout. In. So here we go. We'll get started. And um, if you go on YouTube, you can find just about countless uh, videos for like a timer. Just type in like four minute Tabata timer with music or something like that. And you can find all kinds of like uppity music that'll tell you when to go and when to rest, just so you don't have to think about 20 seconds, 10 seconds and so forth. So without further ado, here we go. Here we go, we're five, four, three, two, one, go!
two, one, go! And then we do the moves Jimmy puts one. Make sure it's even. <laughs> For those of you that followed along, good job. I hope it helped. I hope it got you active for a bit. And hopefully it gave you some ideas for stuff that you can use at home. 
for yourself in some way. We got more to come, and I'll end the video after I get these done. Or whatever. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be how you can meet exercise guidelines and physical activity recommendations during the quarantine so you can stay active and stay as healthy as you can through a time like this. All right. Thanks for joining.